in heavy haulage, what people tell you is not always the indication. It's supposed to be five metres wide, then it was six metres wide. Running at 23 metres long. About 85 tonne stripped. You've got to have your wits about you when you get heavy and wide and high. You have to get a second escort. You're supposed to get the police. So there's a bit of pressure on you when you're up and down the highway, when the roads, especially narrow bridges, because there's so many damned if you do, damned if you don't. Decisions that you have to make while you're out. We dodge a lot of power lines, you know. We wouldn't have pulled any down, of course. <laughs> well, I'm Kevin Murata, and I'm David Murata. Lived in Wollongong all our lives. And a lot of years ago, we started the transport company with Kev and my other brother, Peter. Now I'm number one, and Dave's number three. <laughs> Kev and I did apprenticeships. Kev's a fitter by trade, and I'm a truck and car mechanic. And our dad had earth moving gear and machinery, and of course he had to back he, us. He, he helped us immensely, and mum, early days, she knew where every cent was. So she'd be going, boys, you're spending too much money. We all were close, uh, and that was with our brother Pete. Pete was with us for about five years and then moved to Sydney and he was into a few things, trying to make, make, make some money. But then he passed away in 92, uh, which is pretty sad. Because um, we were always hoping he'd come back. That, that wasn't to be. We did a lot of interstate early days, which was carting scrap steel for BHP, now Blue Scope. And that was Melbourne and Brisbane, Sydney, Newcastle. And then, because my dad had machines, well, we were floating his machines. And then at one stage here with the scrap, we were hiring his machines to come and do our, our jobs. He'd have excavators with shears on them, like a set of scissors cutting the scrap up. And he'd have a load of machine, take the bucket off and he'd put a magnet on. That's how he'd lift the scrap. What eventuated was, because you move machinery, and then you get people ringing you up, oh, can you come and move ours? And it slowly grew the heavy oil inside. We can cart up to about 90 tonne. And we're legal with about 95. A lot of stuff come out of the port here to go to the new snowy hydro. And they've got a lot of work out of the wind farms. A couple of particular cranes. There's 36 loads in it in one crane. One day you might be doing a tri-float and 20 tonne excavators, and next minute you've got the five row and the dolly on, and you know, you're doing an 80 tonne machine. The heavy haulage side gives you challenges, and I still love the challenge. When you're out west, can't drive in the night, you get to go to a lot of hotels. Kev could write a book on the pubs. He's so drunk. There's a good few stories <laughs> in Australia, mate, I tell you. At the pubs. And have I seen some great sunsets and sunrises over the years? What are we up to now? Shit. 45 years. There we go, we've been doing this. Oh, hell. Yeah. Makes you want to retire. No, nah, no, nah, we're not talking about that. I'll just say the first thing, you first learn how to change gears really quick because the only way out of Wollongong is uphill. Oh, it's a big trucking town, Wollongong, because we've got Port Kembla, we've got Blue Scope still. We still do one job inside Blue Scope, and we move three and a half to 4,000 tonne a day, 365 days a year, 12 hour shift, carting slag, which is a byproduct of making iron and steel. And that's a hard job. You know, we cart 70, 80 tonne loads of this slag. And they're just going round and round in circles. And that's with off-road, mine spec Kenworth trucks. And we have big unroad registrable trailers there. It's 3.6 metres wide. They've got 25 tonne axles in them. And the Kenworth products proved itself over there again. Kevin and I are both very passionate about Kenworth product. It's just the best, honestly. And you know, it's built here in Australia. Love that, because it's jobs. Australian jobs, that's what we need. And you get to pick what you want. I can have one tank, I can have four tanks, I can have six fuel tanks. You can have whatever you like. And then you know what? Kenworth will work with owners. They'll send people out and they want to talk to you. You know, what can we do better? What can we change? Hence is the Kenworth brand still here today with the company from 1979. 
the Kenworths just proven themselves that early and they just keep on keeping on. The legend status is, yeah, I'm not too sure how to take that, you know. It's a compliment. Uh, take it well, as a yeah. compliment, you know, that, that, that uh, love the product, been around for a long time, we've survived, and, and the Kenworth trucks are here to stay.